Hey people, it's Kelly of Print Fray Slay. Um, I am here with a um, kit called Trinity. Um, it is represented by these re these three branches. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this is actually a freebie um, for my patrons right now. Um, but of course, like many other kits, it will be in the shop eventually. Um, what happens is I give my patrons uh, two free kits a month. Um, and we use them in our Zoom. So that's why you see the <laughs> computer right here. <laughs> so I'm on a Zoom call with them. Um, and But I'm going to do a voiceover for the purposes of us keeping our, our conversation is kind of private. Because we all share our personal views. Like a small group. Um, so right now I'm going and put in gelatos on the um, page. And I like to use dry gelatos, uh, so I don't activate them with a baby wipe or water or anything because I'm in the Happy Planner pages, and um, they don't play well. <laughs> well, for the most part, for me, they don't play well. They definitely don't play well with a lot of water, um, but sometimes they're just not as smooth. So again, so the kit is called Trinity, and I, I designed this kit based on... Um, my own personal study, like many other kids in the shop, is based on my personal study and how I wanted to study the Trinity. Um, the Trinity is considered uh, the Holy Trinity of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Um, being a new Christian, I was looking for uh, the text, the Holy Trinity, um, back in the day, what was that? I was in college. I just remember being in college. <laughs> and so I asked the question in Bible study, you know, I'm looking for this text. I have my concordance here. I got everything. This was before Google was what it is now. So yeah, I'm quite aged, <laughs> but it's not a text that's in the Bible. Um, and I found that interesting, um, because we, we speak about the Holy Trinity a lot. So, um, for all those who may have been looking, um, it's not exactly called the Trinity, but in the verse, um, verse Peter one, two, you do get a, um, a description of, um, God, the father, the son and the Holy spirit in in one, um, verse. So I want to read that. So first Peter one and two says, God, the father knew you and chose you long ago and his spirit has made you holy. As a result, you have obeyed him and have cleansed and have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus. So you have God, the father who chose you, the spirit who made you holy and the cleansing by Jesus Christ. So I wanted to read my study notes and it's saying that this is a letter from from Peter to encourage believers like they were going through a time in which they were being hunted down and killed and persecuted and they were just plain misunderstood by their peers by their family by the law by jewish people um the romans everybody <laughs> like nobody was getting down with being a christian at this time um and felt like it was okay to publicly say that you were such so he's writing a letter to like new Christians to kind of encourage them um, to keep them, you know, in, in uplifting spirits um, as God's chosen people um, who are living, you know, as foreigners. So it's saying here in the study notes that Peter encouraged his readers by his strong declaration that they are chosen by the father. At one time, only the nation of Israel could claim to be God's chosen people. But through Christ, all believers, Jews and Gentiles, belong to God. Our salvation and security rest in God's merciful choice. No trials or persecutions can take away the eternal life he gives us um, to those who believe in him. Okay, so the verse mentions three members of the Trinity. So in my study Bible, it actually does mention Trinity. OK, that is not text that you will see in like the actual um, biblical text. This is the study Bible. So, you know, we get a little different because um, it goes into the study of it all. And um, it's just church lingo. <laughs> so God, the father, God, the son, Jesus Christ and God, the Holy Spirit. Um, some people uh, refer to him as the Holy Ghost. 
uh, all members of the Trinity work to bring about our salvation. So the Father chose us um, before we chose him. Okay, you can go back into Ephesians 1, 4 and check that out. Jesus Christ, who was the son, died for us while we were all sinners. We are sinners, you know, Romans 5, 6 through 10. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Holy Spirit brings us the benefits of salvation and sets us apart. Okay, so to be set apart is to be holy um, and he sanctifies us. So um, this is all for God's service. Second Thessalonians 2 13. So when, again, when I was younger in in my faith, like, you know, just not learning a whole bunch of stuff, um, the question would pop up like, so, so are we serving three gods? Are we serving one God? And how do, how do we explain this to other people? How do I, how do I understand this myself? And it can be kind of confusing to a lot of people. And so for me, I wanted to journal about my relationship because no, we do not serve one God. We do not serve three gods. We serve one God. Um, God has these three entities, um, but it is one God. Okay. But the father is not the son. The son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the son and so forth. Um, to me, I explained it in, um, and with my patrons as my relationship. And that's what I wanted to journal here. I wanted to clearly journal about my relationship um, with God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because to me, my relationship with them are different. Um, so with the Father, it's like, you know, the authority. Okay? So I put the Father at the top. Um, he has a little blue journaling spot. <laughs> it was a joke when we were on Zoom where... Um, we, they were calling it a blob. It's not a blob. <laughs> it's a journaling spot. So the father has the, uh, the blue journaling spot. Then I have the son. Um, and I do these, these, um, this design method from scrapbooking where you kind of scatter the page. So you see, so your eye can go to three different places. Um, so that's so why I have the three pieces of the branch in three different places. This is not the entire kit. The, the kit actually has a, a floral cross in it as well. Um, but I just wanted to to share this. These uh, specific elements um, were my choice. Um, but I didn't want to let you know that the kit has other things in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I would share that for me, um, and this is what I shared with my patrons as well, um, God the Father is the authority. It's like like what you would think of as as a dad, like a father. Um, so my approach to God is like I'm praying. When I'm praying, like deep, hard, I'm crying, or I'm I'm really really excited and really happy, or I need help, or a lot of guidance. It's it's me and God the Father. Like those times where it's quiet and I'm all alone, and it's just me um, seeking his voice and his knowledge to me um, at that time, that's my prayer to God, the father. When I am <laughs> the way I see Jesus is my friend. Okay. It's not in a disrespectful way. It's in a way where the relationship is just different. So God, the son is my friend. So my approach to him um, is the same respect and reverence as the father. Um, but the approach is like, I'm talking to, like, I'm talking to you. <laughs> so we have really like fun and raw and real conversations. And it's a best friend type of conversation. And your best friend doesn't always agree with you. <laughs> so it's not like I'm having this fun conversation with Jesus and it's, um, we just going along with what I want to do and what I think is right and this, that, and other. But the the tone is different. The, the tone that I hear in my heart is different um, because it sounds like I'm talking in the way that I talk to everyone else. Um, so it's a lot of guidance. Jesus guides me a lot. Um, it's like I, 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 I share my inner thoughts and I say, hey, I think this is going on. This would be a good idea. No. Kelly, nah, <laughs> you need to go back and read or you need to go say sorry. Um, 
or, uh, you know, you shouldn't be doing that, or this is a good idea. I, you know, this, this is, this is what I have for you. You are on the right path. So I love conversations with God, the father, the son and the Holy spirit. It is really different for me. And, um, when we get to the Holy spirit is, it's a lot, a lot different. Um, I would, I honestly feel like it's more of the conversation while in deep study. Okay. So while in study, um, I feel like my relationship with the Holy Spirit blossoms and it's like, oh, I get that. I understand that. Or I don't understand. Please, please help me understand. Please give me guidance. Please show me where I should get a, a credible resource so I can fully understand what the text is saying and what my heart should be towards um, what is going on. And so for me, the Holy Spirit is guidance just like the father and the son, but it comes off in a way of like, it's, it's deep within me. It's my, my, like my conscious, like, um, it's, I feel the Holy spirit. So it is still different for me. Um, but I love my interaction with all three and my interaction with the Holy spirit is, like I said, it's more of, of guidance. So I'm reading and it's like an aha moment, a pop off. And I'm like, oh, yes, he's here. He's helping me. He's helping me understand this. And I get so excited. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a different kind of feeling because it's, it's not your own. So it's not like on my own merit, I am this smart <laughs> or I'm this wise. And it's like, nah, <laughs> that's not you at all. And, it, and, it, and it's really exciting. It's really, um, it's, to me, it's really rewarding to be able to have a relationship with God. And that's what um, I want the kid to come across is that you have a relationship with God. Okay. You have a relationship with God, the father, the son, and the Holy spirit. Um, I sometimes don't hear a lot of people talk about the Holy spirit for some reason. Um, But he's definitely there and he's a gift, a gift that is very precious and that we all should appreciate. And to me, it's, it's, it's also going into like my everyday, like, um, let me give you an example for me. This is me. It may be different for other people. Um, some people might be confused by this statement. Some people may totally disagree with this statement, but this is me. This is my relationship. And I'm just trying to share it with you, um, in hopes that it helps, um, and either, even sparks you to, to dig deeper and define your relationship with God. But for me, it's not just with my studies. It's like, I'm walking down the street. And it'll be like, you know, he'll be like, don't cross the street. You know, does you know how some people say, oh, something said, yeah, that's something with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> some said don't cross the street. And then this big Mack truck just comes. And so it's like, oh, OK. Or you're, you're talking to somebody and they're like um, talking about themselves or saying something that you don't agree with. And for me, the Holy Spirit will be like, hold your tongue. You know, you don't have to tell them that they're wrong. You don't have to show them your point of view. So I, I love that. I love that I get a lot of guidance and I listen. Um, and I, I don't listen all the time. I'm not perfect. Um, there are times when I'm like, oh, I want to see how this goes. And the Holy Spirit will be like, mm. <laughs> so, so I, but I, ultimately I just wanted to share um, how my relationship is with uh, God. And I hope that you get a kick out of using the kit in the same way. And this is how my page came out. I, I mean, I really like it. I like how it looks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment below. Bye.